Hello everyone, it's Michelle. How are you? Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So I wanted to go ahead and share a haul with you today um, of some things that I got over the weekend. You know, I was able to come across some pretty good coupons and some deals and thought I would share with you some of the things that I picked up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This might be a long haul. Um, so I'm warning you now, so if you can stick with me to the end, you're going to see some pretty cool products. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, I have this big old bag from Bath & Body Works. And, you know, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of their, their lotions and their, you know, body wash. Because a lot of the scents, I feel, can be too much, too intense for me. But I do love their hand soaps. And oh my gosh, I went in there, um, just was actually walking by the store there right across the, the hallway from the Sephora. So um, I stopped in to kind of see what they had. I had a coupon and um, I, I saw that they have some new spring and summer soaps. And I love these, these soaps. These are great for my bathroom. I like to use some for my kitchen area. The kids love them. And um, I always like to get um, the, the soaps from Bath & Body. So I like actually the ones that are the liquid kind that foam up. Uh, not as big of a fan of the, the gel texture, but, um, but I do like these. So I want to go ahead and show you all of the different fun soaps that I got. So this one is Golden Pineapple Luau. I love their packaging, love their names that they always give these. And they just look so fun and, and so cute sitting on the, uh, the counter. This one is Endless Weekend. Um, and then let's see, I got I got seven. They had seven for $24. And then I had a coupon for 20% off. So you can't really beat that. It's like under $3 a bottle. So that's great. Um, this one is Honolulu Sun. Look at how cute the packaging is. I mean, that is adorable. I am so ready for summer. So that is definitely gonna get me in the mood. Um, this one is Indigo Sky. And then I got Tiki Mango Mai Tai. Love the names. I mean, and the packaging again, how fun. And then there's two more in here. I got Fiji White Sands, amazing. And look at the palm tree. Oh. And Hawaiian Pink Hibiscus. So this one looks really fun and, um, and I'm excited to try all these. Actually, I didn't even smell these. Um, but you know, I, I, we, I'm, I'm always washing my hands. I'm always encouraging my kids to do that as well. So we go through these pretty fast. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to try those. Next up, let's go through my Ulta haul. So I have the 20% off coupon that, um, was given to the, the, uh, platinum members and I actually went in mind going to look for the peach palette, but of course it's sold out everywhere. I wasn't one of the lucky ones to get it early, but instead I found the deal of the century. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani uh, blush palette, and I think it was on the, one of the last days of their um, their 21 Days of Beauty. They had this puppy on sale for $22, and I actually had to go to two different two different ones to find it, but I found it and I'm so glad I did. Now this um, has just gotten rave reviews all over YouTube and it is limited edition and I think that's why they put it on sale, but I, I've, so I've, I've heard amazing things about it. I just, I'm like, how, how amazing could it be? But oh my gosh, these blushes in person are just gorgeous. I mean, beautiful, beautiful colors. So I'm not going to swatch it. I think um, I think this has been reviewed time and time again on YouTube, but um, but I am really excited to to try this. So very excited to find that, and you know, at a deal, even better. Another thing that I got at Ulta is the pst. <laughs> Literally, that's what it's called. Pst. It is the dry oil spray. This stuff is awesome for my hair. So basically, instead of using just a, a you know a hair oil. This you just spray it on and it's the same thing and it's it is it's just a dry oil and it just gives my hair just a really nice kind of a shiny look to it. It's very nice and soft and I just actually spray it here kind of like around the ends um, because if I feel if I get it too close up here it makes my hair look a little bit greasy. So I just kind of you know just spray it 
like this, just around the, the, the bottom half of my hair, and it smells excellent. So I always get compliments on, on how shiny my hair is, which is kind of funny because it's, you know, definitely color treated and damaged, but um, I think this really adds to it, and I love this. So highly, highly recommend that one. But next up is the Makeup Revolution uh, Shimmer Strip. This actually, um, I think it was Kathleen Lights was talking about this, so I had to, um, to check it out. I have been playing with and swatching it. And this highlight, let me just show you, this highlight is no joke. I mean, it is some serious shimmer. It is so pretty. And it actually, um, I, I just actually, you know, took it and just swirled my brush around in all of the colors, but I'm sure you can probably use them separately. Um, but this is a really nice kind of a bronzy uh, glow to the skin. So very nice, excited to have that. All right, so next up I found the Fiona Styles display that they have at my Ulta. It's a brand new display. Um, I wasn't really sure what was good. I haven't really heard a whole lot about it, but I did want to try the mascara. This one is the, the Lash Sculpting Mascara, and I've used it actually a couple times, and I really like it. It's, it's a kind of a wet formula. I don't know if it's just because it's a brand new tube, but, um, but this seemed to actually work pretty well, so I'm, I'm looking forward to to giving it a try, you know, kind of on a longer basis and seeing how it works. So excited to get that. And that was like $16. So again, not terrible. So NYX had buy one, get one half off. And I got, I got two of their um, butter glosses. One is in tiramisu and this one is in angel food cake. So I just, I love these. I've had a couple different colors. Um, I like them. They're just a really nice, lightweight uh, lip gloss with some, some with some pigmentation to it. And they're, I love the way they smell too. So um, again, these were buy one, get one 50% off. Got those. And then I also wanted to try these. These are the NYX uh, Mega Shine Lip Glosses. This color is Smoky Loon. I mean, really? That's what Smoky Loon looks like. It's actually more of a peach color, which is right here. Oh, these smell so good, too. And then this one I thought was a really fun color for, um, for spring, summer. This is in the shade Dolly Pink. And this one actually looks much more opaque than um, the other ones. So that will be a really nice color for, for spring and summer. So excited to get those. So then I wanted to try two of their eyeshadows, but we had a little tragedy with one of them. It broke in the bag, I guess, or maybe it was broke when I bought it and I just didn't notice it, but I'm so bummed. This is in the color Girl Talk, and um, it's kind of, I don't know if I want to open it. Oh, it makes me so sad. I don't know, Do can I return it? Um, it's right here on the side. I thought it would be actually kind of a pretty, like just a light highlight or maybe something for the, the middle of your lid. So that one's broke, and then I have the one that's not broke. This is Frostbite, and this is like a duochrome. This is so pretty. It's kind of like a white, let me see where I should swatch this. I don't know if that'll pick up. Yeah, it's right here. It's kind of a duochrome. It's like a, a frosty white with some pink shift to it. I don't think that'll pick up. Um, but yeah, so really pretty on that one. So again, those were buy one, get 50% off. And I wanted to try those out. And let's see, my last product that I got at Ulta is the Essence Eyeshadow. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. I just, when I get to the store, I always forget like which colors are good. So I was just kind of looking at the colors, um, swatching the samples. And I came across this one. I don't know if it's going to swatch because it's pretty light. Um, it, it <laughs> I can't even find it. I guess it's right here. This is, um, in the shade Rosy Happiness. It's just a kind of a generic flesh tone color. So, um, so really pretty. I like the feel of these and these are like $2.99 or something. 
Um, I like the feel of them. Very soft, very creamy. So excited to try those out. So when I went to the mall to go to Sephora, as I'm walking by, they have a body shop. And I have heard, I think it was Shauna from The Love of Makeup, talking about a foundation enhancer. So I think she got the darker one, but I actually got the lighter one. These are drops that you add to your foundation to adjust the color. And I actually, I have really fair skin. I don't know if you can really tell, but I have really fair skin and it's hard for me to find a shade. So usually when I go to the store, I'm like, okay, I usually go to the very first one, the very first shade, it's either fair or porcelain. Uh, and those generally tend to work best for me. But a lot of times, you know, during the summer, I like to get the darker shades. But then, like, I have the darker shades that I really like. For example, I have a, a NARS uh, foundation. Um, it's in the square bottle. But I got it last summer, and it's too dark, but I really want to wear it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to see if I could lighten it up a little bit with this um, with this product and I believe it's just like little drops that you add to your foundation and you mix in your foundation and it kind of lightens up the color so these were $20 it's kind of expensive but if it can help um, with the longevity and the use of some of the colors that I have that are not quite the, the perfect skin tone for my skin right now uh, definitely worth the money. And for the most exciting portion of this video, it's my Sephora haul. I had the 15% uh, the off for VIBs and um, did a, a pretty good bit of damage. So let me show you what I got. So first off, I got this cute little tote bag. I, I guess it was for the sale. I don't know, but the girl at my Sephora gave me this. How cute is that? It says, there's still some space left on my vanity. Um, take me to Sephora. So that is really cute. It's got two handles. So that's cute. Excited to get that. And then let's see. Okay. So going into my bag here, I got, um, a little baby Z palette. These were $10. Um, I always am looking for a space to store some, some shadows and some favorites. So I got a little baby one. I ran out of space in my other Z palette, so I wanted to get another little one, so that was great. Um, I went over to the Clinique area and got some Cheek Pop, yeah, P uh, Cheek Pop blushes. Uh, this one is in Peach Pop. So pretty, and it looks so fun for the uh, spring and summertime, and this color is Plum Pop. Now, Plum Pop to me, I would think would be more kind of a mauve color, but this is a, kind of a bright pink. So, um, I will swatch these. Oh, so fun. And look at how pigmented they are. I have, um, and this one's the peach one. So pretty. I have another one that, um, is kind of light. It's too light for my skin. I forgot which color it is, but I wanted to try these and uh, and give these a go and the packaging is just incredible so next i got the becca backlight primer and i think everyone and their dog has this except for me so i wanted to buy it get on the bandwagon i have always used the laura geller one which i love and it's holy grail status for me but i wanted to try this so it looks so pretty um and i've heard it's really good for dry skin so I don't think you can really tell here, but it does have a sheen to it. All right, let's see what else I get in my bag. Okay, so uh, Makeup Fun with Olivia was raving about these, and I've heard about these, and I just kept thinking, really, $10 for some makeup wipes or the little cotton pads. But Olivia, she talked me into it, and I decided to try them, so I got these. I'm excited to use these with my um, my Bioderma micellar water. Um, and then I also have the Garnier one that I really like, too. So excited to try those out. And then I got this little guy. This is the Blush Beauty Blender. Now, I know it seems so gimmicky. Like, really, you can't put your blush on with the other beauty blender. But this one is smaller. It looks kind of gray. Um... But, uh, but this is actually made specifically for blush, supposedly. I'm sure you can definitely use it for other things. Um, so I wanted to try that. I got the <laughs> Anastasia Glow Kit. 
and this is in the, the color, the shade Gleam. They have two different ones. I got the, the pinkier one. The other, uh, the, the other glow kit is um, kind of more brown, browns and bronzy tones. This one is more pink. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I have not even taken the plastic off. I haven't swatched these, but I'm really excited to do so. Tati from Glam Life Guru just has been raising it, raving about it. So this is Crushed Pearl, which is this guy right here. I'll go ahead and swatch these. This one is Stardust, which is so pretty. Definitely more of a pink. Um, the next one I will go swatch is Hard Candy. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And that is right here, kind of a rose, rose gold color. And lastly is Mimosa. And Mimosa is the darkest one, and that has some brown, kind of a goldy bronze texture to it. So, so excited to use these. I'm really, really excited about this one. Okay, so then I got the uh, Sephora lip color. This is Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color, and I got the shade Petal. And, the, you know, how I feel about my <laughs> my longwear mattes, I just, you know, I can't live without them, so I have to add to the collection and get just one more, you know. I wanted to try this. This is so pretty. I thought that would be so pretty for spring. So I did get that one. And these are great prices. I think this is like $14. And then I got some little point perks. So I got this one. I was really happy to see this. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bush uh, lipstick. And this, let's see what shade is this. This is in Radish. <gasps> Look at that, it's a little baby. I mean, so cute. I actually, look at that, oh, that is so stunning. I'm excited to wear that. Um, <clears throat> this was 100 points at my Sephora, and I um, had been looking at the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, but every color that I wanted to get was sold out. So, I don't know, I may go online and see if I can find them, but look at how cute the little baby box is. And then I got um, a Formula X little dark red nail polish and I don't see a color on here oh yes it's obsessed so that's cute it looks almost black but it's just a really dark red and then another really exciting product I got is the pore vanishing stick from the Estee Lauder edit line and this is supposedly uh, supposed to kind of be a primer underneath your your makeup to diminish uh, pores on your skin so was excited to get this little little gem too so cute right I love the packaging as well so I think that does it for this long long haul thank you so much for sticking with me if you are still here till the end I appreciate you and let me know if you've tried any of these products or what your thoughts are on any of these and um, as always, feel free to comment, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye!